Only one pet food is developed by a veterinarian with more than 50 years of hands-on experience and stars in his own television series. That's Dr. Pohl Pet Food. Buy Dr. Pohl Pet Food now from Chewy.com and discover the Dr. Pohl difference today. Hello, students. Do you know who Ben Shapiro is? Why the fuck is Ben Shapiro not vegan yet? He is a man who is clearly intelligent. Does he have a caring heart? Meh, I don't know. But he's smart enough to know that animals feel pain. And look at him here. He is about to put on this apron and go over here and put an innocent turkey in an oven. Despicable. Let's look a little bit about who Ben Shapiro is if you don't know yet. On, this, on the Wikipedia page here, it says that he is, Shapiro became interested in politics at a young age. He started a nationally syndicated column when he was 17 and had written two books by the age of 21. In his first book, Brainwashed, How Universities Indoctrinate uh, youth in 2004, Shapiro argues that students are not exposed to a variety of viewpoints at universities and that those who do not have strong opinions will be overwhelmed by an atmosphere dominated by liberal instruction, even if discussion is encouraged in the classroom. So basically, here's this young guy who has strong opinions. He skipped two grades in school, plays the violin. You know, he's a bright guy. Now let's look over here. Uh, one thing I do like that he did, I thought it was very interesting, is that he, in an interview with uh, about the subject of transgender, whether you agree with his opinion or not, what I want to point out to you is how he stayed calm when this person put, this person wants the pronoun to be used, she, so we will do that to be respectful, she put her arm on his back. On, Sh on Shapiro's back and in, in the middle of what would be uh, what I would call a quite a heated discussion and if it had been me that and she had put her hand on my back I would have said get the fuck off me don't fucking touch me that's what I would have done but Shapiro stayed calm I found that quite impressive is it's about the bravest thing you can do did she deserve the award five yeah so this person is saying that coming out as trans is one of the bravest things that you can do I disagree with that. I think one of the bravest things you can do is save somebody's life. And when you are going in there, animal rights activists are going into slaughterhouses and trying to save the animals from extreme pain. Animals who will never be able to thank them. They're not getting any money for this. All they are doing is being risk. risk. They are risking being shot at. They are risking jail time. That is bravery. Bravery is doing something for others. Coming out as trans is doing something for yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. People always twist my words. Of course, later on, there will be advantages because people will see you coming out and think, oh, that person's brave. I can do it too. But these, do are, these are not the same things. You cannot, you cannot equate coming out as trans with going in to save animals who are going to be murdered, where your actual life is at risk. Does this person look... Like her life is at risk? I don't think so. Do trans people get beat up occasionally? We also do have laws. In school when I taught, if somebody was trans, we were all given a talking to. And I mean me in the sense that, well, teachers were already fine about it, but you know, students were told, this person's trans, everybody should be nice to them. And it was like, okay, no problem. And I had trans kids in my class, I had one in particular that, that comes to mind who was uh, wearing, this guy was wearing skirts and he was in grade six, wearing skirts and wearing pink hair some days and long fingernails and it was like, whatever. Nobody cared. P the kid had friends. It was not a big deal. Everything was fine. So I'm not saying it's always that way, but my main point here is not to talk about the whole trans issue, but it is to talk about Shapiro's reaction to this person who is talking about Caitlyn Jenner getting an award. Now, this is a video from already a ways back. This is already like 2015, but I thought it was still interesting. Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Why are we mainstreaming delusion? This is what Shapiro says. I am not saying that I agree with him, but I thought it was an interesting thing to say. It's not delusion. Why, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because 
Bruce Caitlyn Jenner. I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. Like, You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because it's disrespect. Okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male, with the exception of some of his sperm cells. You it turns out that his sperm cells are male. Wait, I need. It to. turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But How the, he feels on the inside is irrelevant but, to the question of his biological sex. I don't I agree, agree with that. I'm not on that train. <laughs> I'm not on that train. So you got this guy. And everybody else in the room is against Shapiro. Shapiro has a different opinion. I think it is kind of interesting that he is stating the way that he feels despite all of this opposition. It's not easy. She wants to be called she, I'm gonna call it. He is saying that he will call the trans person she. And that's fine, and I think we should. We should be polite. It doesn't hurt anybody to do that. She. I just have a problem with the message and the messenger. Zoe, well, let's, let's, now let's, I'm going to do two things. I want to re reiterate what Zoe said, which is the bifurcation of the courage to come forward after a lifetime as a male and a certain kind of a male versus did she deserve this award. Listen, the awards, what are award ceremonies except the opportunity to catch some eyes? Especially the ESPN. So, yeah. Yeah. It's like ESPN, well, well done, ABC. Yeah. They did exactly what their job was, oh, to attract listen. eyes. They did it. That's what award ceremonies are for. But... In terms of the science behind gender uh, dysphoria, you, you're very familiar with that, Zoe. Very familiar. It's not about the chromosome. Excuse me, the chromosomes within we our both know nuclei. That yeah, chromosomes go ahead. don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. With gender, gender of identity. Go ahead. No, so especially, what, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you, like to discuss the gen you see, the hand here goes on his back. I'm not okay with that. And I think that Ben stayed pretty calm. Yeah, well, well, no, what no, are your genetics? I, I, so I'd stay with Here comes the hand again. In a condescending manner. Look how calm Ben stays. The genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now. Are you Here's the threat. Grabbing him the back of the neck and threatening him. Pulling, pulling herself closer to him. You'll go home in an ambulance. Threatening. You'll go home in an ambulance. He is simply stating his opinion. He is not doing anything violent. He is just saying what he thinks. This person is in the wrong here. This person who is conservative, whose ideas I don't always agree with, is, is pretty admirable at this moment. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. That seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Mildly inappropriate. How about very inappropriate? Ben, congratulations on this. No, I know. Well, yeah. but wait, to be fair, but to you, be, but to be are, fair, wait, but to be fair, violence, you but, are, but to be fair, you're being, actually being hey kind guys, of rude. You're and, then, no, no. and this guy's saying, but to be fair, you're being kind of rude. Therefore, so this guy's saying, therefore, she has a right to put her hands on him and threaten to send him home in an ambulance. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? That is not okay. There's one thing is to be rude, which is basically disagree with somebody in these two opinions and everybody in the room. Everybody in the room is against Ben here. This person is threatening to take him home in an ambulance and this guy says, well, you're being rude, so therefore she has a right to put her hand on you and just threaten you. That's bullshit. No, and, and that's no, no, not no. fair. I'm sorry, it's not rude to say that someone who is biologically a male sir. is a male. You just someone who is biologically sir. male is a male. But Mr. So, Shapiro, you know, you knew very well that well, saying that to Zoe would be would be egregiously it's insulting. It's not a man. So, that's that. Let's look at Ben Shapiro. Now here is Ben Shapiro, the asshole. Because look at that smile on his face. As he is going to this video is sponsored by Raycon. All right, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. I'm going to cook this monster. Going to stab this turkey, unfortunately. Very sad. Interesting thing. First, let's make sure it's dead. No. No, Ben. See, now he's being an asshole.
what is the joke here? You know, it's bad enough that this animal, which was living and minding his or her own business, and somebody came to murder her. I'm going to call her her. I'm going to use that pronoun now, if that's okay with you, Ben. And now you're going to play this joke and just stab her further. More bullshit. You know that she is dead. What the fuck is the matter with your face here? Disgusting. See, why is it that otherwise intelligent people do these stupid things? And why can they not just be morally consistent with everything? That's the first step. Sick. Okay. Now, I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 degrees telepathically. It's done. Okay, rinse the turkey and pat dry. This thing's large. It's not a thing, Ben. That was a sentient being who never wanted to die. There is no excuse for animal abuse, Ben. There's no reason for you to do this. There is no excuse. You can eat anything else. There are 300,000 items on this planet to eat. The bird, all she had was her life. That's it. She didn't have a house. She didn't have a kitchen. She didn't have any items at all. No clothing, no wallet, nothing. All she had is her body, her life. And you paid someone to murder her. And not only that, Ben, you then go further to exploit her by telling your millions, 2.98 million subscribers. You make it seem like this is okay. You basically encourage people to hurt animals further. I don't understand. I really don't. He skipped two grades in school. He went to Harvard. He even acknowledges in some interviews that he, he probably should be vegan. He understands what it's about. And then he flip-flops. Cognitive dissonance just fucked up. So that's my feeling about Ben Shapiro. You asked, that's my feeling. Here's, here's the takeaway from all of this. People are complex. Some people are smart and their hearts are this big. Their brains might be this big and their heart might be this big. And other times, some people might have gigantic hearts in a tiny little brain. Some people are just all mixed up. But the point is that we need as a society to educate people to be kind to animals. Speciesism is wrong. And the smart people of the world should be able to understand that and join us as vegans. Ben Shapiro should be vegan. He should be a vegan animal rights activist. As much as he cares about the truth on his show, The Daily Wire, and is always calling out other people, he needs to look in the mirror. Ben, you need to look in the mirror. You need to change. You have too big of an audience to be doing this bullshit. You need to stand up and defend the animals. You should be going to challenge22.com. You should be watching Dominion Movement, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy is a very important documentary right now. Ben, go and watch those videos. Anyone who is a fan of Ben's, it's fine if you want to support his politics, if that's what you think is right. But don't support animal cruelty, whether you're on the left as a, as a political, um, if, if your politics are on the left, whatever, your politics on the right, whatever, conservative, liberal, whatever. Everyone should unite for the animals. We should unite for the planet. We should unite to protect the oceans and to protect innocent lives who never did a single thing wrong to you. Nature Made offers scientifically informed solutions to help support restful sleep. Choose the strength, form, and blend that's right for you. Nature Made sleep products are 100% drug free and made by the brand that's trusted by pharmacists. Find Nature Made sleep solutions and more at Walgreens. Hello, everybody. I'm Dennis Prager. This is Otto. I don't know, Otto Prager wouldn't quite work. I got to tell you, folks, a very funny story before. Uh 
That's my views on Ben. For those of you who are here and haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. We will be talking about all kinds of people. People who went to Harvard, but are still assholes. And we will be talking about animals, plants, vegan food. We will be talking about the environment. We will be talking about everything and everything because everything is connected in some way to the animals. In every, every object, every decision, every political speech can be brought back to the animals because the animals are with us here on this earth. They are not for us and we are all intertwined in the ecosystem. We must all be very well aware of that and stop breeding animals into existence and stop killing them by the trillions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to my moderators who are always so wonderful. And let's sing Ben the song. Ben Shapiro. I hope you are able to listen to this song. I'm going to tag you in it, although I doubt you'll see this. But if you do, here's my message to you. Eating animals is wrong, Ben Shapiro. Hurting animals is wrong, Ben Shapiro. Share this song and change your entire everything. Your political speeches, what you do in the kitchen, everything. To be vegan from now on. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for being kind to one another. Thank you to everybody who's trying to be vegan and supporting vegans in their family. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.